Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success, streaming now on Amazon Music. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my guitar courses, lesson of the month club, coaching, Thursday tips blog, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just picked up your first guitar or you've been playing your whole life, Gator has everything you need. Gator is a one-stop shop for bags, cases, stands, hangers, guitar straps, power supplies, pedal boards, and more. There are hundreds of options created by a guitarist just for you. Check out GatorCO.com for all your guitar needs. Today's tip is 5 Steps to Playing Hammer-Ons. Hammer-on is a guitar playing skill where you use a hammer to play the strings. No, I'm just kidding. It's a guitar skill where you sharply bring a fretting hand finger down on a string to make a note sound without strumming or picking the string. In today's episode, I'll tell you more about hammer-ons and how to play them. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello and thank you to those of you listening in Guatemala, Estonia, Jamaica, Cape Verde, Colombia, Hong Kong, Slovakia, and Burkina Faso. Hey, do you know someone who would like to play guitar? It's never been easier with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. And if you or someone you know already plays guitar and wants to learn more, then my Lesson of the Month Club and my coaching sessions could be just the right thing. The links are in the show notes on your podcast app, or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. To hammer on, as I mentioned, is a guitar skill where a finger on your fretting hand strongly and sharply hits a string that has already been played. Still seem a little confused? Don't fret, haha. Let me explain in more detail. Playing notes that include hammer-ons tie notes together cleanly and quickly. This musical articulation is formally notated as legato, which is Italian for tied together. This technique also facilitates fast playing because the picking hand does not have to move at such a high speed and with coordination between the hands. Multiple hammer-ons and pull-offs, the opposite of hammer-ons, are sometimes referred to as rolls or trills. This skill was first invented in the 1900s in the banjo tutor book, Ellis's Thorough School for Five-String Banjo, and was called the shake because a finger played a string that was already vibrating. The term hammer-on was invented and popularized by Pete Seeger. As far as notation, hammer-on is referenced in guitar tablature as the letter H, which you can see in the example I share in this week's Thursday tip on my website marlenesmusic.com, and the link is in the show notes. Here are the five steps to help you successfully play hammer-ons. So go ahead and grab your guitar so you can give it a try as I'm explaining each step. Step 1. Start by hovering over the first fret of the first string, but not pressing on a string. 
Play string one as an open string, just as you would if you were picking the first string. Then immediately, as the string is vibrating, quickly land your first finger down on string one in the first fret. Be sure to hit the string hard to help the note sound out. Repeat this a few times to get a sense for the skill. Step two, as you repeat playing the hammer on, it's important to be sure you play or pick the open string first before you hammer your fretting finger in the first fret. Notice that this action will make two sounds, the open string and the fretted string, but with just one pick of the string. You might be tempted to play the string again when you place your finger in fret one because that's what we normally do when we're playing. But the idea of playing a hammer-on is to play two notes on one vibrating string. The open string note in this example is E, and the note of the hammered-on fret in this example is F. Step three. Next, try this same idea using string one, but this time start with your first finger on fret one play the string, and then quickly land your second finger on fret two. You'll be playing F and F sharp. Again, remember you won't play the string two times. Just once while on fret one, and then as the string vibrates, quickly hit the second fret with your second finger to get the sound of another note. You can do this exercise on two frets that are separated, like fret one and hammer on to fret three. By the way, you can use any fingers to play this skill. It's usually easiest though with the index and either the middle or ring finger. Step four. Now that you have an idea of how to play a hammer on, practice the volume of the string so that the tone of the first note and the hammer on note are the same. If you overhit the string, the hammered on note will be sharp. If you underhit the string, the hammered on note will sound soft. So go ahead and play around a little bit with this idea. Step five. Now, if you're feeling ready, try hammering on in different locations on the neck. You can even add hammer-ons into your chords. For example, the G chord can be played picking or strumming, hammering on the fifth string. Give that a whirl and try that with other chords. If you'd like to see a video of me playing these hammer-on steps that I've just described, go to my YouTube channel, Marlene's Music One. Again, you can find that link in the show notes. And one more cool thing to know, hammer-ons have a counterpart, pull-offs. I'll talk about how to play pull-offs in next week's episode. So with this guitar playing skill, just remember, no construction tools are needed to hammer on your strings. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on!